Hey guys, today I'll be playing through the tall quests, collecting life preservers for the re-released event on Furl the Sails, a golden treasure ship. I will be using the same team for both types of quests. Let's just hop right into it. So Fast forwarding the music there. So we have received three new skill evolutions for this banner. That would belong to Eger, Ifrit, and uh, Abisu. You can probably look forward to discussion for that between me, Irby, and Zalkus later. Uh, it's fairly straightforward though. Uh, we've also received some singing of bobs. <laughs> Give me a second, let me figure out how to move this. Do -do -do. Just like that. Uh, uh, yeah, we received some ARs as well. I think that the three star ARs look pretty promising, actually. I was kind of not looking for three star ARs initially because, you know, they pretty much are there just to dilute the pool. But their effects seem pretty alright this time. Uh, I will reserve the rest of my thoughts on it for the actual discussion though. Alright, let's move on to the next phase. But just to sort of summarize the skill evolutions that you can see being applied here. Uh, let's uh, continue off with Ejir, who, when he actually attacks, he inflicts fear at the same time now, rather than after attacking. He also now has a two times ad advantage against fear, so he essentially has a permanent uh, damage buff on top of him. And on the second turn of every phase, he's able to steal uh, a single buff from a 3x3 box in front of him. So... Well, I couldn't really show it here, but you did hear Eager uh, have his uh, voice effect indicating he did actually use his uh, effect. But yeah, it didn't seem like a Ahab there was feeling very vigorous. The other skill evolution uh, in this particular quest I brought with is Ifrit's, although you won't really be seeing it using very often. What it essentially does is, uh, hold on, no, you, god damn it, he's too far for the buff. But you can see it here, uh, even though I said you wouldn't see it. Uh, he inflicts Ember and, well it's been translated to Conflagration now, Conflagration and Burn in a 3x3 box in front of himself. Just like that. Oh, and I guess this is what's more relevant for his general uses, he's now uh, able to bestow Ardor at a slightly higher rate. But uh, yeah, overall this quest is pretty straightforward. I'm not <laughs> too impressed by the skill evolutions, but here's a bit of something for Idra at least. He's no longer completely dead in the water <laughs> like he used to be. Uh, with that said, uh, uh, still just get his Christmas range instead if he had to pick between his regular and his Christmas range. Well, that pretty much does it for this draft quest. I'll see you around. Enjoy the rest of the event. Bye bye.